Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to Promised Land Athens. We're here to bring you another dance today. And this dance is uh, from music by Howie and Alin. Go to www.mishkanim.com and get their music. The name of this music, the song, is Elohe. And the first time I heard this song, I thought, wow, that sounds like a Romanian hora. And then later I was talking to Howie and he said they had been someplace maybe like Yad Vashem and there were films there of uh, Jews from around the world and, and uh, this tune, one of the parts of the melody of the, of the song actually comes from Romania and he saw the people dancing. So I tried to give the dance a little bit of Romanian flavor and uh, we're going to go ahead and learn the steps. There are five figures in this dance and each one goes with a part of the music. They're all pretty easy, we'll just break them down one by one. So the first step, you start with your right foot. You're going to walk forward. One, two, three. Kick your left foot and walk back. Two, three. And you're going to kick your right foot back twice. Kick, kick. One, two, three. Kick, back, two, three. Kick, kick. One, two, three. Kick, one, two, three. Kick, kick. And that's the first figure. The second figure is a uh, hora, but we're going to transition from the first step to the second step with one grapevine. So let's say we just finished the first step and uh, we, we've kicked back twice with our left foot. And we're going to do one grapevine and then go into the hora. So the grapevine starts with the right, cross, and behind, and then here's the hora. Kick and kick, step behind, and kick and kick and step behind and kick and kick and so on, okay? The Hora, the name Hora is actually, uh, and this very uh, same foot sequence is used all over the Balkans. You see it in Greece, you see it all the way through Armenia, even in the uh, Arabian countries. This exact same foot pattern is used. Either it's called Hora or Choro or in the Arabic country it's called Depki. Okay, we're going to move to the third figure. The third figure starts with your right foot crossing over your left and we're going to step, move to the left and we're going to step four times. So it'll be right and two and three and four. We're going to swing the left around and do the same thing going back. Left and two and three and four. Four. The second time we're going to just do two, one, and two, swing around, one, and two, and then we're going to do a series of four ones. One, 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 one. one. We'll do that part again. Starting with the right foot crossing over, and one, and two, and three, and four crossover left and two and three and four counting down and right two and left two and right and two three four now we're going to move backwards you're going to go up a little bit on the right foot and sort of drag the left foot right and right and right and right okay we we'll just look at that last part one more time Coming on the right foot, it's up and up and up and up. That's the end of the third figure. We'll put the whole thing together. Starting with the right foot crossing over. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, and one, two, and one, and two, and one. Three and four and right foot up. Two, three, four. So that's the third figure. The footwork for the fourth figure uh, starts with two little one, two, threes. Right, left, right, left, right, left, and one jerk is here. Forward and back and we we'll do that again. One, two, three, one, two, three, forward and back. We're going to repeat the one, two, threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to do a box step. Starting with your right foot, cross over with your right. 
Cross over with your left, step back and back. You see the box on the floor? Here's the box. Here's a corner, here's a corner, here's a corner, and here's a corner. So if in the beginning we have these little one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, Chergazia, one, two, three, one, two, three, box, one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, one, two, three, Chergazia, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and surprise ending, you turn around, and we're going to move right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So that's the most complex figure. It's the fourth figure of the dance. Also, when we're doing the one, two, threes, we're going to bend over at the waist. So the whole step, again, and one, two, three, one, two, three, chur. Gazia. One, two, three, one, two, three, box step. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, one, two, three, turn. Gazia, and one, two, three, one, turn around, and right, and left, and right, and left. And at the end of that figure, you'll turn around and go into whatever music comes next. Okay, the fifth figure is. Um, very simple. The challenging thing about it is that we're going to actually hold shoulders. And so when you see the group dancing together, you're going to see them do that. Uh, when you have a, a shoulder hold like this, it's very important that you keep your elbow straight and don't lean into the other person's elbow. You need to hold your own arms up, really. Don't lean on the other person, okay? The feet work goes like this. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right and leap and right left right left right left right cross over leap and again and right left right left right left right and leap and right left right left right left right and leap and all right we're going to talk one minute about the sequence uh, which is not regular throughout the recording we're going to do figure one, figure two, we're going to do figure three twice, and figure four. We don't do the shoulder step the first time. When we finish the figure four the first time, you, so you're facing backwards this way, and then you're going to cut around into the, the, the grapevine that precedes the hora. So you'll be turning around and going right into the hora step after the grapevine. Okay? And then we do. Uh, part three and part four as you would ordinarily and this time we also do part five The dance goes back to the beginning and we do the first two figures this time it skips The third figure altogether it goes right to the fourth figure and the fifth figure and then we finish up with The very beginning of the dance so we're going to invite all the dancers to come now and show you a little choreography that we had done so that you can learn this dance. And I hope you enjoy it. Remember to go to mishkanim.com, M-I-S-H-K-A-N-I-M, and check out Howie and Lynn's music. Shalom.
our role 